Fishing Grand County, brought to you by Low Henry's Trout Shop, the Grand County Fishing Company, and Rocky Mountain Capital Mortgage, lending for your lifestyle. Everybody likes fish and dry flies, but truth of the matter is the fish don't feed on the water, on the top of the water nearly as often as they do on the bottom. Uh, some people say it's, they feed 90% of, of the time on the bottom. I think it's actually a lot more than that. When they are rising though, I like to have this uh, dry fly on the surface so they have that option because there's nothing quite like seeing a fish come up to the surface and eat your fly right in front of you. But what we do a lot of times when they're not rising freely is we'll hang a nymph down below it like this. We call it a dropper. And we're going to fish this. This is going to float on the top and it's going to kind of work as a strike indicator. If this suddenly goes under, we go ahead and recast. If it's not a fish, we just go ahead and make our next cast. If it is a fish, that'll set the hook just perfectly and we'll be playing the fish on the little fly then. Nice Fraser River brown trout. Beautiful colors. Notice the color, he's got the big dark brown spots. Some browns actually have really pretty red spots along them. This one's a little bit different species. Beautiful golden color in the belly. We start to see his uh, jaw start to hook up just a little bit. This is becoming a, a little bit more sexually mature fish. You get the classic elongated head of a brown trout, a little bit of a hook to that jaw. This is a natural trout. Now what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to let him go right on the seam here so he's got a little bit of current flowing at his face. It makes it easier for him to breathe. Notice the gill plate flexing, he's breathing. Now what I'll usually do is I'll let a fish swim away from me just like that. Yeah, when you first hit, hook a, a trout, you really need to manage your line well. It's better to get him on the reel by reeling up as fast as you can. With lighter tippet like 5X, it's necessary to kind of play tug of war and you know, work him back and forth, let him run when he needs to. You'll know as soon as his head comes up, it's time to get him in the net. Well, it looks like he's got a couple cutthroat stripes underneath. He's actually a cupo. He's got that beautiful rainbow coloring on the sides. Okay, Joy, looks like we caught a, a cutthroat rainbow cross. You see he's got that rainbow coloring on the sides, but underneath his jaw, he's got those beautiful orange stripes, those stripes of a cupo or a cutthroat. But he's a hybrid, a beautiful fish. And when we handle these fish, we want to make sure we wet our hands first. Okay. Trout have a protective coating on their external, on their, their skin. It helps them, uh, prevents them from getting fungus and illness. Um, it's best if you don't touch them at all sometimes, and you can actually use the mesh of the net, and it preserves that protective coating. We all promote catch and release in the valley. If you let them go, they get bigger, and we can keep catching them day after day. We've got a lot of great fishing in Grand County. We've caught browns and rainbows today and had a lot of fun. I'm Henry Kerwin, and I'll see you next time on Fishing Grand County. So if you're doing better in the clubhouse than you are on the golf course, give us a call. We can't fix your game, but we can sure help you forget it. 
Fishing Grand County, brought to you by Mo Henry's Trout Shop, the Grand County Fishing Company, and Rocky Mountain Capital Mortgage. Lending for your lifestyle.